Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Mexico and we got a gorgeous evening going here. See there, beautiful sunset, gorgeous waves, it's just incredible. And I just want to talk to you about the very most important rule in CFS recovery. And I've learned this from every program that I've taken, basically. It is stop the push and crash cycle. It's deadly. And it's the foundation that CFS breathes its whole life, okay? So what I hear and I see a lot of people talking about on forums is they're saying, oh, today I had a really good day and I did this and I did that and I did this and I hope it lasts because it was a really good day. And then you're hearing, well, you know, I've been in bed now for five days, but I had a really good day and I don't understand it, but maybe tomorrow will be a better day. And the whole goal in CFS recovery is really to even out those huge ups and downs and get some stability going. So as Toby Morrison says, you want to aim for okay days as opposed to good days. And that really helped me because what I realized was that on the days that I had energy, rather than allowing that energy to go into healing my body, which is what my body needed to do with that excess energy, I would try to use that energy for activities that I hadn't been able to get done for the past several months, right? Since the last good day. And all that would do would just push my body into overdrive. It would deplete all the available energy that I had, and then my body would go into a crash. So what I found is that on days that I had good energy, if I monitored myself and kept to my baseline, which means you know, you're finding out what you can do during the day that doesn't make you feel worse. So if I kept with my regular baseline, and maybe just added a little bit more, or even better, just rested, Got, got some really deep rest, that those days would even out and I would begin to get better days, okay days, not these big peaks of energy and I felt like a normal person again, but also I, did, I stopped doing that huge crash. So anyway, I just hope that helps as you're navigating your recovery. Think about how your days are going. Are you having really good days where you have all the sudden energy and you use it up and now your body's on empty and now it takes you weeks uh, to recover? If so, back it up. You know, on those good days, reserve that energy. Think of it like a bank. You're actually investing money into an account for your body. And if there isn't any there, if you haven't built up any energy reserves, then your body can't use it for healing. Because any energy going out is not going into healing your body. So yeah, just remember, stop the push and crash cycle. And it might mean clearing your calendar, dealing with where you really are rather than where you want to be. And that way, once you back it up to that place, you can begin to move forward. So anyway, guys, hope that helps. And remember, life isn't over, it's starting. let me know are you still in the push crash cycle and if you are what do you need to do to break that cycle what's your next step if you're in recovery and you can use some more encouragement be sure to subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up that lets me know and it also helps it reach more people that could use some encouragement that might be in some dark places Thank you.